Hey guys, before we get started with the video, I just wanted to let you know, down in the description, I have a link to my Google Drive. This uh, this Google Drive is going to host a whole bunch of custom assets from tile sets to style grounds to decals. And it's uh, while it's small now, it is a growing list. So certainly if you're an artist and you've made some of these things and you want it to be featured, uh, just drop me a link in Discord or you can shoot me that in, uh, in my email, which is iamdadbot at gmail.com. All I ask is for you mappers who are using this stuff, just give proper credit when you're making your maps. That is, uh, that is all, and we'll obviously be including all of that in the Google Drive as well. This is going to be good just for the modding community. You know, if you want to have something that looks a little bit different, but it's not, uh, you know, vanilla, and maybe you don't know how to make your own stuff just yet, uh, or you can kind of use these as a template, I think that that will help out a ton. So definitely hit me up if you got something that we can work with, and let's get on with the video. Good evening, everybody. I am DadBod. Tonight, I'm going to be teaching you how to implement your own custom tile sets into your maps. This shouldn't take too long. It's actually pretty simple. So let's uh, let's get started. The first thing that you are going to need, uh, you're going to need Ahorn, obviously, open. That should be a given. You're going to need the Ahorn wiki open for reference, and then you're also going to need your file explorer as well. If you don't already, we can just follow along. I'm going to create a new project. We are going to call this Dreams in the Clouds. We're going to be using some tile sets by Nico. Nico is um, a really, really awesome artist, musician, and uh, I'm, I'm, everything that they've ever done so far has looked really awesome. So this map is going to be pretty much all assets that they created, and we're going to start by uh, using the tile sets that they made. So after we've done that, we're going to create a room, and we'll just bust through this really quick. If you haven't seen the first tutorial I did on just creating a map, I strongly encourage you to go ahead and do that, because we're going to move through this pretty quickly. We're going to need a player entity just to have uh, something. <clears throat> oh, we've already got it. All right, Maddie's there, and I'm going to want to save this. Now, packaging your map is actually important, so we're going to go into our mods folder, and I'm going to create a folder here, and we're going to call this Dreams in the Clouds. And in this folder, we're going to create another folder uh, called Maps with a capital M. And in this folder, we're going to create a new folder uh, and you just name it whatever your name is for right now. And then in here, you will make a new folder with the name of your campaign, Dreams in the Clouds. And this is where we're going to drop our bin file. And so we will go ahead and save this. And we can see we're already here, go to Dreams in the Clouds, Maps, I am Dad Bod, Dreams in the Clouds, and we can name this Dreams in the Clouds. And it already saves the dot bin, and we are all good there. So our map is saved, we have a map, and uh, now we are going to check out our tile sets. So we can actually see the three tile sets here. I'm going to be using the vanilla tile sets. On the wiki, you'll see that there's a couple different options. Uh, Aid actually made a new template that you can use, and there's just one small variation that you need in order to get it to work. It's not too hard, uh, but for right now and for this tutorial, we're going to be using this uh, tile set here, and the template here is really great. You can use uh, this essentially to build your own if you want to create it. Just open it in your favorite uh, photo editing program and get to work. So what we're going to need to do next in our main folder. So we have a folder that is titled uh, maps. We're going to want to create a new folder that is titled graphics. This is where our tile sets eventually are going to go. Once we open that, we are going to create a new folder titled uh, atlases. Uh, and it is very important that we are using proper, you know, capitalization. In here, we're going to create a new folder titled gameplay with a capital G. And in here, we're going to create a new folder titled Tile Sets with a lowercase t. 
And here we're going to drop the three tile sets that we have just right in here. Beautiful. Next thing that we're going to do is in, um, in graphics, you're going to create another folder and just whatever your name is, we're going to create it in there. And in this folder, we are going to drop an XML file that's going to allow the, the game to point to the tile set. So we need to go find that. And the easiest way to find that, we're going to go to our mods folder. We're pretty familiar with this folder here. And we're going to go up one level. This is just the Celeste like program file. And we're going to go under content, graphics. This is our graphics dump. And there is a foreground tiles.xml in here. We're just going to control C, copy this. Do not edit this file in here. You're going to have a bad time. And we're going to go back, dreams and clouds, graphics, I am dad bod, and we're going to drop foreground tiles.xml right there. Now, we can open this up in a um, just notepad to edit this. And this is the time now we're going to want to reference the, um, the wiki. So we're going to scroll all the way to the very bottom, and we're going to move to step three. Step three is we're going to copy this line of text right here, and we are going to paste it just before the slash data line, which is right here, right after sci-fi, so we can see that's the sci-fi tile set. I've got three tile sets that I'm going to be using, so I'm going to copy this over three times, and we are going to edit it for each specific one. So we can see here replace W that we copied in here. And actually, I'll move this over a little bit so you can see that with a unique ID. This has to be one character long, only one character. You cannot use the IDs that are already being used. The IDs already being used are one, uh, three to nine, A to O in lowercase, Y and Z lowercase. So we can use any other character besides those. So for this, I have three different ones. I'm gonna use a capital A, capital, oops, B, and a capital C. Now we can see replace Y with Z if we're using a vanilla template. All three of these, as we can see, are vanilla templates. Oops, so I'm gonna replace these with lowercase Z's. And then the path name is whatever these are named. So path name one looks like dreamgrass. As you can see, it's dreamgrass.png right here, although it is not necessary to put the, the file extension. Then we have dreamstone, and then we have Nico grass. Shout out to Nico again. All of their, uh, they've got some cool work that I've linked in the description. You gotta check that out too. Sound is the last piece right here, and that is what does this sound like when Maddie walks along it? Down here, there's the tile set sound IDs. Uh, we can find that grass is number 33. So to the two uh, tile sets that are grass, we're gonna go 33 and 33, and then there's a stone. Uh, so let's just find, oh, uh, what do we want, what do we want? Uh, 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 uh. Cliffside white block 27. Let's try that out. That sounds like it'd be cool. Now we want to make sure, like I said, tile set ID is unique. We have Z if it is a vanilla tile set, AKA this tile set here, a lowercase Y if it is the improved tile set by aid, and then the sound. Once you have that, we can save and close that out. And we're gonna to want to be redirected to our Ahorn. From Ahorn, we go into Map, Metadata, and we're going to just, in the metadata, under Foreground Tiles, tell the metadata where this is. And in this case, it is under, um, oops, it is under Graphics, slash I am dad bod, slash Foreground Tiles dot XML. Remember, capitalization is important. We're going to update this. We're gonna save our map and we're gonna reload and see what we come up with. All right, now we are all reloaded. We just reloaded the map. Sometimes you have to reload a horn, but most of the time it's just, you know, reopening it. And we can see now in our tile sets up here that we have Dreamgrass, Dreamstone, and Nico Grass. Let's check them out.
Looking cool. Looking cool. Looking awesome. Now there's one last thing that you really, really want to do. And we're gonna go into this a little bit deeper um, in the actual packaging tutorial. But if you just load your map like that, you are going to have an issue like this where you cut off. And that's kind of annoying because you can't read what's going on. And that is happening because the name of your map is really, really, really long. And in this case, it is really long. I'm gonna show you how to alleviate that just really quick. All right, so first take note of this name or whatever the name is. And we see that it is um, I am dadbod underscore dreams in the clouds with a whole bunch of underscores and it's super long. So we are going to take that text down, open up our file here and we're gonna make one more folder. This one is going to be called dialogue with a capital D. And in here, we're gonna make a new text document that is just called English dot txt in english dot txt we are going to essentially write down what this was on the very top here so i am dad bod underscore dreams underscore in underscore the underscore clouds underscore crap dreams underscore in underscore the underscore clouds um equals dreams in the clouds. All right, so after we have loaded Celeste, we can scroll down here and we see that it has uh, cut it a little bit, which is nice. We can actually kind of see what's going on. And let's go to dreams in the clouds and load this up. And what do you know? There are our three tile sets that we incorporated. And they look good, they're ready to go. Although this one looks a little wonky. Nico, actually I used the wrong tile set, but that's okay. That one was missing a little bit of something. That's my fault, not Nico's. Cool, I hope that's, uh, I hope this was informative guys. If you have any questions, definitely check out the wiki. You can hit me up or in the official Celeste Discord. There are plenty of people who can help further. I hope, like I said, this was informative to you. If you enjoyed it, let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoy the content, as always, hit the subscribe button. We got a lot more tutorials coming here in the near future. Till next time, have a great night.